In this video, we will show you how to submit a routine locate request. After logging in and while looking at the main menu, select Submit a Locate Request. This will take you to the iTIC user information and excavator information sections. Verify all information, making any changes necessary. Be sure your name and contact info are in the iTIC user information section. When you are ready, click Next Step. This will take you to steps 1 and 2. First, step 1, contact information. Enter the name and telephone number of an alternate contact, such as an on-site supervisor. If locators have questions and are unable to reach you at your main contact number, this is likely the next person they will attempt to contact. If you are the only person involved in this excavation project, enter same here. Step 2 is excavation information. For type of work, enter the purpose of the excavation and not the method. You can use the keyword auto search function here. For instance, entering a word like install will bring up a list of potential matches. For the next question, work being done for, enter the name of the person, company, or organization you will be doing the excavation for. For the next question, enter the maximum depth you will be digging. Be sure to specify feet or inches. The next two questions refer to your method of excavation. Select Y for yes or N for no. When you are ready, click Next Step. You will then be taken to Step 3, Location Information. Using the drop-down menus, select the county and city or township you will be working in. In the Address field, enter the number of the worksite's address. If there is no address, leave this field blank. In the street field, enter the name of the dig street. You may use the keyword auto search function here as well. For the intersecting street field, enter the name of the road that intersects the dig street closest to where the work will take place. Please keep in mind that this will not necessarily be a major intersection. In location of work, enter a complete description of your entire excavation area. Be as detailed as possible. Describe any area where excavation might take place, and not just where you believe lines may be buried. Next is Step 4, the Map It section. In this section, you will need to select an area on the map that will encompass your entire worksite. The ITIC computer thinks it has found a match for the address I have entered. This potential match is represented by a place mark in the center of the screen. There are several tools in the Map It section that can help ensure you are mapping in the correct area. Selecting the Identify tool will allow you to click on certain map features to find out more information about them. This information will be displayed at the bottom of the Map section after the word Highlight. Once you have found your worksite, you will need to select an area on the map that will completely encompass your excavation. You will do this by selecting a computer-generated polygon, or by drawing your own. If the Change Shape button is available, you can use it to cycle through a list of computer-generated polygons. The Change Size button can be used to expand or contract computer-generated polygons. You may also hand-draw your polygon. First, click the Clear button, located in the lower right corner of the map. This will remove the computer-generated polygon. Then select the Draw tool, also located in the lower right corner of the map section. Then draw your polygon by clicking on the map where you would like to begin. Continue to draw until your entire work area is encompassed. To close out the polygon, simply click on the same point that you began. You may also reshape your polygon. To do so, click on one of the corner points you have made, drag it to the desired location, and release. Continue this process until you have achieved the desired shape. You may also cycle through different map views to be sure you have mapped in the correct area.
The satellite view is a combination of OCC mapping and satellite imagery. The Google Map is based on information from the Google Maps database. You will need to have the OCC map selected in order to approve your polygon. Once you are sure your entire worksite is encompassed, move to step 5, start date information. The start date and time will automatically default to the earliest available time, based on when you are filing your ticket. If you will begin your work at a later date or time, you can adjust the start date and time by using the calendar buttons and the drop-down menus. Keep in mind though that if you select a later date and or time, you are agreeing to postpone your work until that point. When you are ready, click Next Step. This will take you to the Utility Notification screen. This is a complete list of the utilities that will be notified as a result of your ticket. This list is determined solely by where you mapped your excavation area. If there is a utility that you know to be missing from this list, it may be wise to return to the map section and remap the area. At this point, clicking Next Step will submit your locate request to the call center for review. You may now begin a new ticket or click Finished to return to the main menu.